bad can just a basic black triangle bathing suit top be? <sighs> Boy, was I wrong. It just does not look right. I don't know what went wrong, but it definitely didn't look like this on their website. The tag is stitched to the front of the shirt. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dakota, and in today's video, I have a ginormous Shein try-on haul for you guys. This video is 100% not sponsored. I bought all this stuff with my own money, which means that I'm going to bring you guys a 100% brutally honest review of the stuff that I got. Working with a brand would never ever change that about my channel. I will always be 100% honest with you guys, but sometimes it's refreshing to see a non-sponsored try-on haul. So, that's what I have for you guys today. Number one question that I had about Shein was shipping. How long does it take? And I felt like no one was sharing that in their videos, so I got you guys. I placed my order on April 24th, and the package officially came on May 21st. So just shy of 30 days. A lot of people were saying theirs took about two weeks, but mine took way longer than that, so definitely something to consider if you want to order from there. I spent a total of $119.51, and I ordered 17 items. So that gives you guys a little bit of a grasp around pricing, and with all that being said, let's hop right into this try-on haul. The very first thing that I picked up was some basics. I got three of the same shirt, just in different colors. However, when I placed the order, I only ordered one black. I 100% know that for sure. Two came in the mail. I was charged for both of them. I've heard of this happening before where Shein doubles the amount of a certain item that you purchase. They send both of them to you and charge you for both of them. So I have them in black and then this gray color. The quality of these shirts is really nice. The material is super thick, which I honestly was surprised about. However, Aside from them sending me two of the same shirt that I didn't order, on the gray shirt, the tag is stitched to the front of the shirt. Originally, I thought maybe I was just interpreting the shirt wrong and that this was really the front, but if you look at the picture, which I will pop it up on the screen, you can obviously see that the scoop neck is supposed to be in the front and then the lower straight cut is supposed to be in the back. That was my first impression of Shein, was the tag being, being sewn to the wrong side of the shirt. Don't get me wrong, I know mistakes happen, but super unfortunate because you can totally feel it when it's on. Another thing about these shirts that I didn't like was just the cut of them. I don't know if it's my body type or if it is just the way the shirt is cut, but I did not like the way that they sat. I just felt like they bunched weird around the arms and wasn't super flattering. So that paired with the tag being in the wrong place definitely has me sending these guys back to Shein. Along those same lines, I picked up another basic top super similar to the other ones main difference with this one is that the neckline is a V cut instead of a scoop and this one is definitely a lot thinner and a little bit see-through which is again disappointing even just looking at it off the body you can see the tag through the shirt just holding it up and again wasn't a huge fan of the cut of this guy the next thing that I picked up is this cropped tee it is a little bit of a thinner material but I wouldn't say it's bad quality I was really surprised that this shirt ended up working out considering my bad luck the first few pieces I love the crop length on this this tee is a little bit more of a shorter crop than most crop tees so just something to keep in mind I just thought it was a cute basic to have with some high-waisted leggings or sweatpants so I was happy with this guy really quickly because I forgot to say it in the beginning of this video all of my sizes as well as my measurements will be down below just so that you can get a gauge of how all this stuff fits me and use that information to choose the correct size for you next piece is this blue cropped tank this is more similar in quality as the first few tanks that I I showed you guys it's that thicker more heavy knit material but it's the same style as the white one so it has that V cut neck but this one is a little bit of a longer crop again wasn't a huge fan of the way that this fit my body just personal preference not necessarily Shein's fault it is still a good quality shirt but just didn't work for my body type the next top I picked up is this cropped tank you probably are noticing a theme here there's a lot of cropped things I love anything cropped if you saw my princess Polly haul you know that I saw this on the website and fell in love I absolutely adore the tie-dye on this shirt however this is 
definitely more cropped than what it looked like on their website. Biggest advice for you guys is to look at the reviews and the pictures. And even though it is super cropped, I'm still definitely going to be keeping this. I just absolutely love the wash. And again, it's that thicker cottony material. So it is nicer quality, which is awesome. Next item I have is actually a swimsuit top. This was only like six bucks on their website. So I was like, why not? How bad can just a basic black triangle bathing suit top be? <sighs> Boy, was I wrong. It's not awful, you guys, but when I put it on, I just felt like I was gonna pop the heck out of it. I'm not gifted in that area whatsoever. I'm a 34A, and I felt like I would slip right out of this if I went in the water. It is a little bit more of a cottony material versus that swimsuit spandexy feeling, but unfortunately, just... <sighs> I can't do it, it's gotta go back. I tried to adjust the straps to make it work, but it just, it's not for me. This next top threw me off a little bit because it came in a Romway bag and the tag does say Romway on it. So I'm not sure if the brands work together, if they collaborate and sell the same items on their sites, I don't know. All I know is I really enjoy this shirt. It's just a basic cropped tee. I will say it did look a little bit more sage green online. And in person, it is pulling almost aqua, but that's okay with me. I still like the color. What I purchased this shirt for is the embroidered detailing on the top left. I am a lover of camping and traveling and all of that good stuff, and this just is me in a shirt. <laughs> it is nice and soft too. And like I said, it is a longer crop, which is nice if you don't want too much of your midriff showing. Definitely a keep. Next item is also for sure a keeper. I bought this with my cruise in September in mind, and it is just this swimsuit. I guess you could call it a cover-up swimsuit cover-up skirt. Um, You'll see what it looks like on. It is so freaking cute. It's this super dainty crochet material with the frills at the bottom and it sits really high on the waist which I think is super flattering the waistband is super super thick as you can see and it does have ties along the side so that you can adjust it to your specific um, waist size which is nice next top I had super high hopes for I really thought it was gonna work but that seems to be the pattern with a lot of this stuff it's this guy right here again more of a cropped tank but this one is a higher neck and I also felt like the way that the armholes were cut they're uneven which you'll see in the try on portion the quality of the shirt is really nice it's that lightweight but buttery soft fabric I love the way this felt on I I just didn't like the way it was cut and didn't like the neckline. This next item I also had super high hopes for and I'm so sad that it didn't work out because it's so cute. It's just this floral bodycon dress. The material is super lightweight and it's more of that cottony feel so it's super super comfortable. However, I think that they messed up when they put the straps on because you'll see in the try on the front of the dress just does not look right whatsoever and it's very tight and uncomfortable around my chest I just don't even know how to explain it. It just does not look right I don't know what went wrong, but it definitely didn't look like this on the website as far as the neckline goes next two items are also some basic tanks and I'm just really quickly gonna show you guys these because they're not super exciting I've seen these a lot in people's hauls on YouTube so I picked them up for myself in both black and white it's just this straight neck crop tank the material of this is a little bit more silky spandexy feeling I guess you could say and it is double lined but the straps on this are super duper thin and I just feel like they're gonna break really easy I don't know and the crop was also super short on these guys we are getting down to the last few items in this haul and I saved some of the best for last so this is gonna be super hard to show you holding up but the next thing is this dress and honestly you'll see it in the try on but here she is. It is this beautiful maxi dress. Love, love, love the freaking pattern on this. It is so stunning. The material is not what I was expecting it to be. It's like this stiff, silky, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know. I thought it was going to be more like cottony, but it's, 
I don't even know how to explain it. It's it's unique, but I love the V neckline and then the two straps that tie around your neck are adjustable so you can kind of um, play around with where you want it to sit on your chest, how high up you want it. And then the back is completely open, which is my favorite thing. Love a good open back. So this dress is just absolutely freaking beautiful. And I just think the colors are so fun. Really out of my comfort zone, but also very excited to wear this on my cruise. All right, next thing that I purchased from Shein. Hmm, you'll see. You'll just see when I try it on. It's this romper. <laughs> I'll pop up a picture of what this looked like on the model on their website. First of all, the quality of this is just absolutely terrible. It's super, super thin. Um, I don't even know, like, it's just the sound of it. It's just really, really incredibly thin and the way it ties in the front, but I don't know if it's the fact that I am very small chested and don't fill out the cups, even though they're not really cut, I don't know what you call it, the pieces of fabric really well. It just does not look good. And the way that this sits on my hips and my waist makes me look like just bad. Like it just does not look good. It comes out way too poofy on my hips and it could just be that I have really wide hips and it's pushing the fabric out really wide but not flattering whatsoever not good quality whatsoever just a no a huge huge no the last item that I picked up from Shein's website is probably no definitely definitely my favorite piece that I picked up again much easier to show in the try on but it is this Stunning black maxi dress. I am a sucker for a plunge neckline And what I love about this is that the straps are adjustable so you can kind of Control how much of a plunge it is and where it sits on your bodice And then the back is that open back with the two straps that crisscross so so beautiful The length on this is absolutely perfect. I am 5'1 and it comes down to the ground but it doesn't pull which all maxi dresses do for me just because I'm so short and this one doesn't it is the most perfect fit the bottom layer has two slits on either side so each leg can kind of pop out it's so so beautiful and then the tool lays over that oh I'm obsessed with this 100% something I'm going to wear to formal night on our cruise. Such a stunning dress and for like, what, 20 bucks? This could honestly even make a beautiful prom dress if you are looking to save some money and not spend hundreds of dollars on a prom dress, which is just absolutely ridiculous. I think prom is so overrated. Sorry, I had to say it. I hated prom when I was in high school. Um, but yeah, I so stunning and I can't wait to wear this and that is everything that I picked up from Shein as far as my overall opinions go on the website quality of their clothes all of that good stuff I do think it can be worth it as long as you go in with an open mind and a lot of time you want to make sure that you're reading all of the reviews look at the pictures people post see how it fits on them compare their size to what they got to your size essentially do your research because well, I did find some keepers. A lot of the things that I ordered and did my research on, I am returning. Honestly, I'm returning over half of what I ordered. Obviously, the main point here is to be able to get some super cute and trendy clothes on a budget. And Jian is known for having cheap clothing. <laughs> and sometimes when you purchase from a website like Shein, where prices are super low, the quality comes with it. So all in all, will I be ordering from Shein again? Probably not. I feel like I've perused the website enough to find all of the gems that I wanted to try And obviously I filtered through them when they came to my house and I was able to see the physical pieces in person and judge the quality for myself So I do not think I will be shopping on Shein again just personal opinion I know there are people out there that love Shein and that is absolutely okay I just wanted to give you guys my raw unfiltered unsponsored opinion on the website and their clothes I am here to help you guys so with all of that being said I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped you in some way shape or form if you enjoyed this type of video make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you've ever tried Shein or if you were going to try Shein are you still going to try it out 
Did I maybe change your mind? I'm so curious to see what you guys think, so be sure to comment down below. If you have any questions about any of the items or if there's anything I forgot to include in the description, be sure to just ask away in the comments. I am super active in there and I will 100% get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.